morning friends welcome to the Famalex. in today's video i am taking my glucose test so this test everyone talks about during pregnancy you take it around like 25 weeks i'm currently 26 weeks and you either absolutely hate it or you don't really mind it. Some people say that the glucose test, um, the drink that you have to drink for it, is like the worst thing in the world. It's so disgusting, blah, blah, blah. They couldn't even get it down. And then other people say that it's really just not that bad and it kind of tastes like um, Pedialyte which I've drank Pedialyte I drank the um, liquid IVs and things like that so I'm not expecting it to be like this awful awful drink but I honestly <laughs> don't really know like I'm just really curious to see um, what it is and like how it goes but for those of you that um, don't know don't know or may not understand like what a glucose test is basically what happens is <laughs> You come, you drink a very sugary drink, which is that drink, and then you have to wait a full hour, get your blood drawn, and then be tested for gestational diabetes. And if you pass, you're good to go. If you don't, then I believe you have to drink the drink again, and then you have to wait an additional three hours. I think you have to drink the drink again. I'm not entirely sure on that part. Hopefully I don't have to be sure on that and I just passed the one hour test. But um, yeah, let's just see how it goes. My appointment is in 10 minutes and I, not that I've been dreading this appointment, but I've been like wanting to get it over with for so long now that I'm finally just like, okay i have my glucose test today let's do it let's get it over with and let's pass it so fingers crossed i'll keep you guys updated we'll see you in there oh and one more thing um that i forgot to mention was that uh you have to do well at least i i do you have to do the glucose test fasted so i'm doing mine very early in the morning it's currently 7 23 right now and my appointment is at um like 7 40 and yeah i'm the type of person that will get very very hungry in the morning but you have to do it fasted so i figured i would do it as early as i could so that i could drink it wait an hour and then be able to eat right right away um Otherwise, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't know if I could like wait all day and not eat anything. But um, yeah, some people say like the drink makes them um, feel like just kind of like sick after because it is so sugary and you haven't ate anything. But stay tuned. Okay, oh, <laughs> I just drank the drink and it was actually really good. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I had the fruit punch one, the clear version, and it was super good. Like it weirdly kind of threw me off like how good it was. It tasted like a Capri Sun, I would say, or just like, I don't know just like a really sugary fruity punchy drink honestly like it tasted like a, a Capri Sun but yeah it was really good and it was really cold the lady was so nice um I had to drink it within five minutes and before I drank it they drew I think it was like six little um like not little they were like those big tubes of blood and then I drank the drink and now I am waiting exactly one hour to go back in and get more, more blood draw to see if I pass. So fingers crossed and yeah, I don't know. I mean, 
It was good. The drink was good. <laughs> so one thing I do recommend before going into this appointment is still drinking water. Make sure you are hydrated and you are drinking like a full eight ounce glass of water. Um, because the lady has to draw blood before you drink your drink and in order for the blood draw to go smoothly and for her to not miss a vein or something and to just like get the blood out easier you need to be hydrated and your veins like are kind of shriveled up if you aren't drinking any water so having like drank water before the appointment is gonna be really good for you it's gonna be really good for you because that will expand your veins and be a lot easier for the um, person to draw your blood so that was just a tip that she gave me because unfortunately I did not drink any water before this appointment so she had to prick both sides um, just because like yeah I was dehydrated I didn't drink any water because I thought I wasn't supposed to eat or drink anything and you're only just not supposed to eat so just a tip drink water before this appointment totally fine um, and yeah, I'm still feeling good. I'm, I feel like I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Like just a little bit of a sugar high slash, um, not jittery, but like I can kind of like feel it in my body. Um, just because I am really like in tune with myself. So nothing crazy. My heart rate is still normal and I'm just, Chilling like a villain until I have to go back in. So just a quick update. So I just got my second blood drawn and <laughs> um, I have to wait one more hour to see if I passed. I didn't realize that it was blood draw and drink, one hour test, and then wait one more hour. At least that's what I'm currently doing. So I have to wait one more hour and fingers crossed. Okay, so I am finished with my test. I think I passed. Um, she said everything looked good, but um, they're actually sending my results to my OBGYN. So I won't know exactly what they are or if I have to do, do the three hour one until my uh, next appointment, which is after the new year. So that's fine. I don't think I'll have to do the three hour one, but um, we'll just see. So I had my blood drawn when I got there, drank my drink, waited an hour, had my blood drawn, waited another hour, had my blood drawn. That was my process. It wasn't bad, it was just long, and honestly, the worst part of it was just getting like stuck with the needles the whole time. Um, Cause your arm gets like really sore, <laughs> you know, being stuck so many times cause you have to give so much to blood, which I also didn't like realize how much I had, I had to give for my glucose test. But um, yeah, I mean, I feel fine. The first 30 minutes after I drank the drink, I was like a little jittery slash like my heart was kind of racing a little bit. Like almost like I walked up a flight of stairs, but then um, that went away like fairly quickly and then baby started kicking and then I felt completely normal. I'm just like tired and hungry. So <laughs> if you've been following along and you know, the only craving that I've had this entire pregnancy has been McDonald's breakfast. So I'm having some McDonald's breakfast and I'm going to head home and call it a day and rest and make sure I'm drinking a lot of water because I did give like a decent amount of blood. So that is it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you are about to take your glucose test, don't sweat it. It's not that bad. It's just a long process. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.